Um, hold on, guys. I'll just take a minute. Oh, it's my friend. He was going to come today. I said, um, sorry. Sorry, I can't make it. I was going to come during your performance. Wait, wait, what? Doesn't he know how to spell come? C-O-M, right? Not C-U-M. During my performance. Oh, well, I guess it's one of those stupid autocorrect type things, you know? And, yeah, I mean, speaking about misspellings and to correct, oh, gosh, don't even get me started. I mean, I've had this phone for a couple of years now, and I just, I cannot, I absolutely cannot spell right, you know? And sometimes it's just like little things, you know, like a friend of mine, she wrote, I'll be black in a minute, you know? <laughs> and, I thought that was kind of cute, so I said, well, I'll be red in 10, you know. And of course, you know, I knew she meant I'll be back in a minute, and she knew that I said I'll be ready in 10. But sometimes it's like it causes those situations that are almost like awkward and kind of dangerous, you know. Because a while ago I had a friend, um, she, her son, she wrote to me that her son was going to participate in the science competition and in the science fair, and that he was hoping to get one of the first three top places. So I was trying to be nice and supportive, and I wrote, oh, I hope he does, you know? Oh, no. And one letter got changed, and she received, oh, I hope he dies. Oh. Yeah, we haven't talked for a while. <laughs> You know, maybe it's only fair because like three years ago, she was going through some hard times and I helped her and she said, she wrote to me, thank you for everything, my dear friend. And just imagine how you spell dear, right? So what I received was, thank you for everything, my dad friend. Oh. You know, but um, one thing that makes me feel better is I know for a fact that I'm not the only one who gets in trouble. And the following are all true stories. Hey, don't think it's weird, but I sleep with that shit you left in the bathroom. I mean, it smells like you, and it makes me feel better when you're not around. Hey. Hey, if you're trying to be funny, it's not working. What? Oh my god, I mean, shirt. I was writing a shirt you left in the bathroom. Damn. <laughs> this is two high school friends. Oh, we're having this unit on pussy in biology tomorrow. Hey, are you serious? Yeah, whatever. How come? What's wrong, man? I mean, isn't that the, like the guy's kind of class? Yeah, right. Hey, listen, um, are you gay? No? What, are you high? Well, come on, I don't get it. Okay, so we're going to talk tomorrow about those diseases and infections of the skin and that yellow discharge and that pus coming out. And... What? Pus? But you wrote pussy. Do what? <laughs> hey, I need that pencil back. I have exam in 30 minutes. Oh, yes, yes, let me just go get it out of my lover. <laughs> Woohoo, you two are into some kinky stuff. No, no, I mean out of my locker. Stupid phone. Hey, bro, how did the first date go? Did you score? No, but we had a great time. I mean, we went out to dinner and I walked her home. 
and then I killed her in the woods by her house. Uh -huh. I mean, isn't that a bit harsh? No, no, I, I kissed her in the woods by her house. <sighs> That's not that correct. Hey, honey, I'm so glad it's Friday, so we're getting together. Oh, yeah, but aren't you going to work out first? Eh, screw the gym. I'm getting pregnant tonight. Um, uh, aren't we supposed to talk about this? <laughs> about what? Oh, shoot. I wrote, screw the gym, I'm getting Pringles tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Honey, you know, I don't really feel like cooking. Um, would, you, would you get us some human beef? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you high? Oh, Hunan Beef. You know Hunan Beef? I mean that new place that just opened on 7th Avenue. Stupid phone. Honey, I'm, when are you going to get back from the lake? We're, we really want to start dinner soon and we're waiting for you. Oh, I'll be leaving here very soon in about 30 minutes. I just have to scrub my dick first, and I'm going. Ha oh ha, I know you mean scrub the deck. Of course, sweetheart. <laughs> Johnny dear, how was your vacation? Oh, it was great, Grandma. We stayed at the summer house, Everything was real good, but we had this real Kant's invasion. I'm sorry, dear. I, I didn't get that. Could you explain? Oh, Grandma, we had ants. Ants invasion. <laughs> so embarrassing. So are you doing Nutcracker this year? Yeah. In fact, I'm auctioning some kids tomorrow. <laughs> oh. I mean auditioning, right? Yeah. Sorry. You know, even among us comedians, like, there's always some kind of story that becomes your favorite. I'm not sure why, but, I mean, it's so, um, you know, primitive, but anyway. <clears throat> Yes, hello, this is Randy. I'm writing in response to your ad on the Craigslist. It says here you are selling your penis. And if so, I would like to come tonight and take it for the test drive. <clears throat> yes, hi Randy. I'm selling my Prius. Is that what you had in mind? And if so, yes, you can come and try it out tonight. <laughs> hey, son, come downstairs. We're getting ready to eat. Oh, yes, just a minute, Dad. I'm doing Lauren. Wait, what? what? Well, first of all, son, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. And second, aren't you a bit too young to do that at 14? No! Oh, Dad, it's my, it's my autocorrect. I'm sorry, I was saying I'm doing laundry. It got changed. I love thunder, except, you know, our dog starts barking quite a lot. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Our dad barks, too, and we have to comfort him. I can imagine with his vocal cords. Do what? Oh, it was a dog. My stupid iPhone was dog boxed. Hey, 
I'm so glad I could come. I loved your new titties. They're so cute and adorable. And they've grown bigger. Next time I come, they won't fit in my hand. Um, I didn't even know we were physical yet. Oh my god, epic fail. I was writing kitties. I love your new kitties. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hey, how did Emily break her finger? Oh, it got stuck in my butthole. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, buckle, I mean belt buckle. <laughs> well, finally, the time has come, so I'm dumping you tonight. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's about time we go our separate ways. Why would you say that? Because you said you're dumping me. No, I wrote, I'm jumping you tonight. Why would I be dumping you if I'm jumping you? Hmm, it's still kind of awkward. <laughs> Finally, on the, way, on the bus, on the way home, when I get there, I'm going to make some I-Taliban meatballs. Oh, my, sorry, my after correct. I mean Italian, Italian meatballs. Uh, CIA, I really, really meant Italian. <laughs> hey, so what are you doing this late at night? Oh, not much. I just finished masturbating. It makes me feel so much better and helps me to relax and fall asleep. Really? Oh. <gasps> Oops. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Me menstruating. <gasps> Gosh! <laughs> I just got this phone. I mean, meditating. Meditating. <laughs> I just finished meditating and it makes me feel so much more relaxed and helps me fall asleep. So, come on over. I have some tasty stuff in my panties. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> oh, no. No, I was writing pantry. My stupid, I have to correct, change the, it's pantry. I'm sure it's both, honey. <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm making a new recipe. By the way, is placenta gluten-free? <laughs> what? You mean like human placenta? Oh, no, 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 polenta. Polenta is a gluten-free. <laughs> and this last story actually has cost this guy a date. But, you know, I hope maybe with time they got back together. Thank you for such a nice first date. Oh, sure, anytime. When is the second date? I can't wait to see those beautiful nipples of yours. Oh, That's a little hey, are you there? Emily? This is such an epic fail. Emily, I'm sorry about nipples. I was writing dimples. I can't wait to see those beautiful dimples of yours. Hey, can you reply? Nope. Are you there? I'm just gonna go jump off the train.